have, Father, and the care that they have, they will roll that over on them, on you. And Father, and we thank and praise you for all you've done and all you have yet to do in our lives. In the authority of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. And with that, we ask Sister Marcia if she would do Article 41, Section 2. Yes, thank you, Connie. Article 41. This is a brand new day that the Lord has allowed us sibling members to work as one family, helping the sick, the veterans, the bereaved families, and our union members to acquit themselves to be an honorable member of the International Union. This is the duty of the Chaplaincy Committee founded in our UAW Constitution, Article 41, Section 2. Amen to the Father. Amen to the Son. Amen to the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> Amen. 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 Thank you. And with that, we open up to introduction for our chaplaincy executive committee, starting with Bill Eady. Hearing no response, moving on to Jerry Carson. Thank you, Connie. Hello, chaplains. I want to bring you greetings from President Sean Fain and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you, chaplains, for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families, being the salt and the light, meeting people where they are, loving on them, sharing the good news, and giving them hope. We can never say thank you enough. I, Bill Eady is in a meeting right next to me, and he's coming over here to the. Uh, he's so he should be coming on shortly. But I, um, just our union and the in the body of Christ. There's many parts, but one body, and we just all we stay focused, focused, and 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 we keep our 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 faith in God. And then we continue to uplift one another. Right now, I know that we are going to stand in the gap and be praying for those that are still out on strike. Blue Cross Blue Shield been out on strike this is six weeks. Uh, so and and then and then we still have Stellantis out on strike. We got Mac uh, truck out on strike. We got the Detroit. Uh, casino workers out on strike and we got general motors they're still out on strike and so but one thing i do know we stay busy in doing the work and staying focused on god on the prize and then god it in jesus said faith thou works is dead so we have much faith I like that how Elder always brings up about the centurion coming to Christ and asking for him, for his child. And, and Jesus was willing to come and, and he said, no, just send the word. And Jesus responded, he hadn't seen no one with greater faith than this one. But I know that we have that kind of faith. And that's the reason why God is bringing us through what he's brought us through. And going to continue to do it. He has his hand on our union. Um, I'm going to end with this. What has been negotiated for the Ford employees, UAW? I know the details from the front to the back, and there's something for everyone. It's a historic agreement. I've been in it. I've been blessed to be a member for I'm working on 46 years and I've never seen an agreement like this agreement. There's something for everyone and even was able to to have the company put something in for our retirees. There's something there for our retirees, too. And anyone knows Hallelujah. that that's called a permissive subject to bargaining. So this and I and I, you know, I'm glad I'm not on social media, but <laughs> I can't wait until everyone knows the details. It, 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 it'll make you cry to see the goodness of God because he had his hand all on us yeah, no. and yeah, brought no. us through. Oh, and, okay. and, and, and it's doing? because of all of you 
in the membership. Oh, yeah. It's I all so. that's why that's how we came through it. But God brought us through. That's who brought I us have through. A microwave, and, and I see uh, Ruth Golden's on here with us too. And um, huh? and I spoke with her for a minute. And I told her we're going to hold this Sunday. We're uh, Vice President Browning's bringing in and calling to order the National Ford Conference. So all the leaders are going to come in, and they're going, and we're going to meet at Region One A, and we're going to go through the details. And and once they look at it, ask their questions, they're going to tell us where they want us to move proceed forward because it's democratic process and then it'll be brought to the membership so these coming weeks we're going to be busy we're going to be busy going to all the different locals and explaining the agreement but please the work ain't done and we it, it, it's historic but we still got to get everyone else through from blue cross to mac and everyone in yes. between so it really, honestly, we, we're going to celebrate God and his goodness, but we got to get this for every member. And I'm done. Love you, chaplains. <laughs> you know, I, it, you are such a blessing. And that's the reason that God is. <laughs> I'm going to turn it over to, to Elder and Connie. And I see each one of you. I see God's goodness. I see Christ. I see the good that's being done. And even just, we know there's still a lot going on on this earth uh, with over in Israel, o over in Ukraine. We had this uh, a mass shooting in Maryland. Our hearts are, are broken, but we know that God, he, he we got to turn it over to him because it's too big for us. It's too much for us. And he, but he, and he loves them more than we love them. He loves so deep that Amen. he gave his only son. I'm done. Love you, chaplains. I'm done. What a blessing. <laughs> hey, Cunning, let me dive in here and uh, ask you to say a prayer, render a prayer for our brother Jerry Carson before we go any further. Please. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord God, and we lift up our brother Jerry to you, Heavenly Father. This is a man, Lord God, that we all, when we think of him at all, Lord God, we, we remember that he is a man full of love, a man full of Christ. And we thank you for that, Heavenly Father. We thank you that your hand a blessing and guidance and wisdom and protection be upon him and his his family, Lord God. We thank you for him, Lord God. And we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. We thank you that your footsteps, that his footsteps are ordered by you, Lord God. We thank you and give you praise and glory for Jerry. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, okay, uh, let's do this. Uh, Brother Carson, you know we love you. Uh, when Bill, if Bill uh, make it, we want to stop and make sure we recognize Bill. Uh, we have special guests today, uh, Region 9. Region 9, are you on board this morning? Region 9. We know how that work. Uh, you guys gonna, may be. Jerry, what you can, what I'm, can you I'm tell? Gonna text, I'm going to, I'm going to text, uh, Pete Thurber, the coordinator, and I'm going to text Mark Barbie. They'll be on here with us. I'm going to, I'm going to text them right now. Pete was on, Pete was on earlier. Yeah, Visually. I thought I saw Pete earlier, and I know uh, they're in the process of their regional meeting. They're doing some training, and uh, Pete had mentioned that they'll probably have about 10 to 15 chaplains on board this morning um we out east it's fitting that um we recognize in region nine this morning and i'm gonna ask because i got this um i don't know what god yes i do yes i do i do know what god do what god do so i'm gonna say what i gotta say because i know we anxious 
I know we anxious to talk. I know everybody got a story, but today we're going to get through this um, uh, program, and I'm asking everybody to, to just trust God. Trust God. If there's something you need to say, uh, if you can hold off until another day, but tell God, tell God, share with God what it is that you want us to know. On this call today, I'm going to be doing a lot of things. Uh, first, let me circle back. Bill Edie, are you on board this morning? Okay, I'm going to uh, do this out of protocol because protocol is a must with the chaplaincy program. Sister Ruth, are you still on board this morning? Yes, Elder, I am still here. You know, I tend to be the quiet one. Well, you ain't quiet today. Uh, we're giving you the floor. <laughs> we heard, you heard the call. Jerry just said it. I'm laughing because, Jerry, I'm going to tell on Ruth. Ruth said you was wiped out, man. She said Jerry ain't going <laughs> to make it because she, she, she told us you was wiped out. But when the bell rings, Jerry Carson lights up. And Sister Ruth, oh, yes, talk. yes, talk to us this morning. Well, I am, you know, again, I'm going to base um, what I heard from Jerry, and it seems like the news that we're going to get on Sunday is going to be um, life changing and, and has never been done before. So I'm still in the dark, like everybody else. You know how Jerry is, he's very protocol driven. Um, but I just want to say, I, I want to share something, and this really touched my heart. I don't live too far from a, um, it's a GM plant, and it was a cold day the other day, and I was driving past, and it was raining, and all I saw was a little white tents that was out there. I didn't see anybody, but I saw the white tents, and I said, you know, they're all inside, and it's so cold. But it just made me, I just admired the strength and the perseverance and the trust in God that all of the UAW workers are um, those that are still out. And um, the Ford, of course, is very blessed. And they, of course, will be returning to work if they haven't already. I'm not up on the details. But I just want to say we need to keep them in prayer, as you just said, Elder, and um, hold them up because that just tore my heart when I saw it. But I said, that is strength and that is faith. So um, I'm not usually a person with a lot of words, but um, that's, that's what I think I want to share here today is that I'm keeping my union sisters and brothers in prayer. Thank you for allowing me the floor. Thank you, Sister Ruth. And I am moving. I am reaching out to Region 9 in Buffalo, New York. Uh, Brother Pete, are you with us this morning? Update from Jerry Carson. Any update, Brother Carson? Pete, Pete just texted me. He's having some technical difficulty, but I just texted him the call-in number, so he, if he can't come on the WebEx, he'll be calling us in one minute. We, okay. I can see him, but the mic is off. I can see them, but the uh, mic is closed off. They're waving their hands at us. You can see them? Yeah, they get in the boardroom. Tell them okay. on mute. That okay. might be Carl Clark there, too. Yeah, it's similar to what took place, Jerry, in, Hello. Um, Hello? in Ottawa. Hello. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. How are you? I'm all right. Who is this? This is Chaplain Lenny Swain. How you doing, Brother Herb Taylor? Good to see you, brother. <laughs> hey, Brother Lenny. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. I'm sitting next to Carl Clark here. Brother oh, Herb. yeah. I thought <laughs> that man. I thought that man was in Africa. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he just got back. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. That's what I thought he was. I thought he was in Africa. Hey, Region 9, Carl Clark, talk to us for a minute. I recognize Carl Clark. He's a friend. I well, mean, he's a friend. 
He's the only chaplain. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's still talking. He's the only chaplain that I know. The only person that I know. Speak tongues and, and it's knowing. When he's poor, <laughs> he is in tongues. Well, this man knowing. was my roommate for like 10 years. I got to know him. He's powerful. Hey, Carl, I love you, brother. We got you all you all we, we gotta get in this picture. Come on, Carl, talk to us before I tell turn it over to Pete. How you doing, Herb? Love you, man. Love you too. Love all of you. Uh, I'm I'm here at the Region 9 Chaplains Conference. It's going very well. Uh our, our regional coordinator, Pete Thurber, did a great job bringing the people together. Yes. And uh, I see that this is uh, embarking upon, I guess you could say, a reboot. Reboot. <laughs> <laughs> of Region 9. And uh, we've, we've been doing some wonderful sharing. Uh, we had the leadership come in. You want me to get it? And so we just, we're just excited about what God is doing for Region 9. Amen. Okay, we love you, brother pa uh, Carl. Um, I wanted to s allow Carl to speak because um, Carl was Region 9 Chaplaincy Coordinator for a long time. And what he brought to this international program was this. The way to build chaplaincy. So I thought that um, before you went back to the house, it's through the reach. And he spoke those words almost 15 years ago. This is why we are so strong on allowing the region to be an active part in the international. This is why we respect the next man that we will hear, Brother Pete Dober, for taking the mantle and as Carl mentioned, it's a reboot. Region 9 is back. So let's celebrate them and turn it over to Brother Pete. And let's celebrate our regional coordinator, Pete Thurber. He's been putting his heart into this thing. Talk to us, Pete. Well, I, thanks. I just I gotta say that God blesses uh, small beginnings. <clears throat> he does, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, every tree starts as a seed, and uh, we're we're back at the seedling stage again. But we're but we're doing it. We're getting it done. Um, I can tell because yesterday the enemy came against me, but God was still for me, so it really doesn't matter. Um, God is still good, and God's still on the throne. And so we're going to grow it from here. We're going to, this is what we're going to do. Um, so we're getting connected, getting better connected um, a, as a region. And I'm taking a few pages out of, out of the other regions I've seen, a, a few pages out of their playbooks um, and learning from them as well. I paid attention during our conferences on how they connect. And we want to do similar things and greater things, I hope. Um, but I'm surrounded by. I feel like a sapling among the among giant trees. These guys, are, these are guys are great, and they're very supportive of me. And I'm, it's a it's a privilege to serve them. Hey, brother Pete, let me ask this question before we go any further. Uh, my screen is sort of blurred, but uh, is that Beverly Quinn in the picture? Yeah, uh, no, Beverly couldn't be here today. Okay, okay. Can we well, do a brother, roll call? Yes, let's do a roll call real quick, please. Okay, I'm going to bring it in. Okay. You get to be first, Lenny. <laughs> All right, Chaplain Lenny Swain, 897 Ford Motor Company. Uh, it's good to see you all. Uh, I see Jerry there. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Love uh, you, Lenny. It's been a blessing Mighty today man. for us to be together. Um, uh, it's a it's a it's a tough time 
but God has been with us as everybody is saying, and we know it to be true. We've been praying for our uh, uh, president, Sean Fain and Mr. Browning and all of those that are involved. And it's just such a blessing to see the power of God work and work for the people, the masses of people who without his help, we would have no hope. And that's, right. and that's the beauty of this chaplaincy because these people are so greedy that only God can change the heart of a man. And we're so happy that through his divine intervention or his divine providence that he was working in the heart of these people so that they would, would forward, would come up with a deal. And uh, it, it's just a blessing. I could say so much, but I'm not going to take all the time. But I, I love you all. I appreciate you all. And thanks for just supporting me in my infancy stage of this chaplaincy. Because I've, I've, I've grown a lot based on a lot of the things that okay. I've heard from many. Uh, first, you, Herb. The only thing I want to say before I get off, uh, um, Herb, uh, Herb used to always say, this is a teaching moment. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you for that. Right. And the other thing I want to say, give me a second. The other thing I want to say <laughs> is, is, is you would always say uh, about the chaplaincy, caring in the workplace. Thank you yes, for those sir. precious words, my dear brother. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep it short. So uh, I'm Pete Thurber. I'm the Region 9 Chaplaincy Coordinator from Local 2367 Revere Copper Products Active. Oh. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Herb. Hey. Good to Hi. see you. I think some of you know me. Moni Zepkowski from 1097 Rochester, New York. Yes. General Motors, General Motors Components Holding. I'll get it out in a minute. <laughs> so active. Good to see you. God Good bless. to see you. Hi there. Jeannie Lohaus, Local 774, General Motors, Tonawanda Engine Plant. Good to see some of you. James. Active, 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 active sorry. Right. 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 Squeeze in here. The man. Good, good afternoon and to some, good morning to others. I am Brother Craig Davis, Chaplain Craig Davis, Chairperson Chaplaincy Chaplain Local 686, Region 9 out of Lockport, New York, Buffalo Love, General Motors, and I am active. Amen. I'm going to get out the way. Love never fails. Hang on, we got one more. Hey, the greatest chaplains in the world, the UAW chaplains. Good to see you, Jerry. Good to see you. Good to see everyone. Just coming back from... Just coming back from South Africa, was there for 15 days, landed on Wednesday, gave my wife a hug, and drove to Buffalo. <laughs> and now she's waiting for me to get back home. Uh, <laughs> you are uh, we'll a blessing. You this, uh, uh, I just want to encourage all the UAW chaplains, all you chaplains, just to continue to do what you do, touching lives and helping people and loving people and Y'all continue to do what you do because I always say this, the UAW chaplains, you rock. Amen. And the best volunteers in the world, out of passion and out of compassion and love, is the UAW chaplains. You, you guys just keep doing what you're doing. And, uh, of course, you got my support. And number one, you know I love you all. Hey, uh, Brother Clark, hey, before you. you leave the screen, I'm going to turn it over to Carson. But I want everybody to know on the screen. I want everybody to hear it on the WebEx. I want everybody to know from YouTube, from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the North to the South. This man that's in the screen today, uh, the conversation God allowed us to have for many, many years. We never went to bed until we were sure everybody else was in the bed. All right. Sometimes that meant staying out in the cafeteria with Rudy, kind of you know Rudy, Phil, Garney, 
we made sure any chaplain that had a question, we would give them an answer. But I want to let everybody know, in the basketball arena, they they discussing who the greatest, Michael Jordan or LeBron James. Even in the football, being in Buffalo, let me recognize the win that Buffalo had last night, barely, but they won. <laughs> You gotta say that, man. <laughs> <laughs> got hey, yeah, I'm, lucky. I'm getting to this. Oh, no, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest of all time. There's no big guys or little use in the kingdom. But what Carl Clark brought to this chaplaincy program. Tremendous. Amen. Tremendous. And we never, never once deviated from what we knew to be true. And I share this story and I'm going to move on. We had so many conversations to Jerry Carson. They came one day and they asked who wanted to be a board member. Carl Clark declined. Herb Taylor declined. Because we knew that if we did not establish the reach, chaplaincy would fall apart. Mm. So I love you, brother. You know I love you. And I just wanted everybody to know that because even Vice President Jimmy Settles, on the urging of Jerry Carson, would send this man to South Africa with all kinds of UAW appeals. They would. Yes, we did. We supported that. Sure. So, uh, Jerry Carson, anything you'd like to say right now to Region 9 yeah. and Brother Clark? Okay. What I want to say about this mighty man of God. Oh, man. He is, it, just, he is to be honored. Ooh for his service for the kingdom. He, 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 so the chaplains and elder said it perfectly, but what uh, some of the chaplains, some of our Joshua's that recently have joined us don't know about this man. He was a coordinator of region nine. He served, he always done everything with excellence followed protocol, honored those, and he, his, his, his plant closed, he still came. His local shut down, he still came, and he's still coming, and this happened decades ago. He never left the UAW chaplaincy and UAW. He's always been there for us. To God, he just, be all he, of the glory. No, it, but people need to know this. Right, that's right. Bless you, Carl. To, to be a leader, you got to be a good servant. And you are. You're an awesome leader. God has you out there being a disciple. Jesus only took 12 men. And then look what happened. Yes. Jesus is taking each one of you. Whenever you take the time to give God glory, this man is over in South Africa. He's in India. He has been certifying and ordaining those chaplains in the, in them areas also. Yeah. God's kingdom is being enlarged because of what he's done. But he started that in the UAW chaplains. But yeah. he's a man of God. I just want to acknowledge him for that. And I, and I want to say that, that now who sits in that spot is Pete Thurber. And now yeah. Carl comes back, back to mentor him. That's love. And Pete's, just doing, flew the, in. And Pete's doing an excellent job. And, and then Mark Barbie, the liaison, another powerful man of God. 
And then I'm going to tell you, the director of Region 9, Daniel Vincetti, a powerful man of God. So they're blessed to have him as their director, too, and just wanted to acknowledge that. And I could go on and on. And you don't do it. I don't do it. Elder don't do it. Pete don't do it. We don't do it to be acknowledged. We do it to serve. Yeah. Because one sure. day we're going to be in, yes. in the presence of the one that created us. And we want to hear, Hallelujah. well done and good and faithful servant. But he is the one that makes the way. I'm done. Yeah, Love man. you, Carl. Amen. Well, to God be all of the glory because I'm looking at a bunch of great chaplains on this screen right now. And uh, to God be all of the glory for the things he has done. For he has done marvelous things and he ain't through yet. Amen. All right, Carl. Amen. 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 Hey, we're going to, uh, we are going to render a prayer for Region 9 Conference. Uh, that was great too, Elder. Huh? Take your seat, man. That was Ruth speaking. Sister Ruth. I just wanted to say to Carl, I just wanted to just say a quick thank you. Um, me and him have talked several times and, you know, the challenges that my, my son was facing. And I just want to tell you, thank you for your prayers. He's doing so much better. So thank oh, you, Carl. You're welcome. And to God be the glory again. Bless you, Carl Clark. Amen. 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 So, uh, Cynthia Harris, uh, render a prayer to Region 9. We acknowledge the director. We acknowledge Mark Bobby, but we really uh, appreciate the job that Pete is doing, along with uh, Brother Davis. And this group, um, many are called, but few are chosen. And I heard you say, Pete, well done. Uh, do not despise um, small beginning. Uh, you have a wealth of knowledge and you have the goat uh, of chaplaincy. I, I, I tell you that with a lot of love because there's nothing Carl Clark wouldn't do for you. There's nothing Garney Davis wouldn't do for you. But what we ask y'all to do Make sure whatever you do, include Jerry Carson like you did. It means so much when you can acknowledge Jerry before you do anything, before you plan anything. Acknowledge Jerry because he's sitting right next to Chuck Brown, yeah, Bill well. Eady. He sends report to the entire IEB board. So when we don't tell Jerry, mm -hmm. we out of order. That's so true. that's all we ask y'all to do. Region 9, trust us. Trust us. And at the conference in Black Lake uh, coming up in June, Carl would be one of the speakers because it's revival time. Yes, Lord. And, uh, we're not doing a regional thing, but we want the region to come and support the move of God. Hallelujah. We have been released, Brother Davis, who the sun set free. Mm -hmm. We are free. And all of this that's been going on been under the umbrella of Chuck Brownie, who's the vice president of the Ford Department, who happened to have control over chaplaincy. And if I may just replace chaplaincy, we are God people. Yes, Lord. We are the Levites in the UAW. Mm -hmm. And Chuck Brownie have the responsibility of unleashing the chaplain. And who come with the tentative agreement? Ford. Ford. Yeah. 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 That's not by mistake. 
Amen. Don't nothing happen in the kingdom by mistake. God knows all. So I don't know who this Karen Thomas is. I asked Cynthia Harris to do the prayer, but it's something about Karen that I may be missing. So um, Karen, don't go anywhere. Cynthia is going to do a prayer, and you're going to have words before we turn it over. Go on, Sister Cynthia. Let's bless Region 9. Yes, sir. Father God, we love you. God, we praise you. God, we magnify you on today, God. God, this is the day that you have made, God, and we will rejoice and be glad in it, God. Father God, we ask for a special blessing, God, on today for Region 9, God, and all the chaplaincy, all of the leadership, God, over their region, God. Father God, you already know, God, what they stand in need of. God, we ask that you continue to anoint them, God, from the top of their heads, God, to the sole of their feet, God. Father God, we pray, God, that there be no lack in their lives, God. Father God, we pray, God, that whatever it is, God, that you have called them to do, God, that you will lead and guide them through that. Father God, we pray, God, that all of their steps, God, are ordered by you. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in Region 9. God, we thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you're going to do. Father God, we ask that you continue to shine your light on their lives, God, and protect them, God, and their families. And God, as they go out and do the work that you have called them to do, protect their houses, their families, their children, their loved ones, and their friends. God, we love you. God, we praise you. And God, we magnify your name. God, we ask that you forgive us, God, for any sins that we've done against you, God. And we thank and praise you, God, for sending your only begotten son. Thank you, God, again for Region 9 A, Region 9, and continue to bless and strengthen them in all that they do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, let's celebrate Region 9. Let's celebrate the love that's Hey, we are moving. We are moving. Karen Thomas, what is it about you today that stands out? What's going on? You have uh, a few minutes and then we're going to move on. But Karen, talk to us, please. I give praise and honor to the Lord, our Savior. I am so grateful to be a part of this great um, UAW chaplaincy. Um, I'm a retired member from Region 2B under Brother Dave Watson and um, my president, Gary Holmes. Um, I am active on our executive board there and am just honored to be a part of this chaplaincy program. I had the honor of coming to the uh, conference that was held this past summer and it was just so blessed, so blessed at the many acquaintances that I made, friendships. We are still in contact, uh, some of those acquaintances that I've made, and I, I'm just so grateful to the Lord. I want to wish you all the best. I am praying with all those that are on strike. We bring uh, greetings from Allison Transmission and Rolls Royce. We are not on strike at this point, but our contracts are coming up. And we uh, ask your prayers and know that we are praying with you all. May God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your um, always acknowledgement of who is first. God Almighty, it is him. I want to say hello to Elder and Jerry. I had the pleasure of meeting you all. Um, I, it's okay if you don't remember me, but I remember you all. And I'm just grateful you that I had the privilege you. and honor um, I see you, Sister Sarah and Sister Cynthia. It's so good to see you all. My dear friend Kim, God bless you all. God bless and keep you. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you. Very well said. But we are moving. We are moving. Sister Kim Collier, are you still with me this morning? Yes, sir, I am. Talk to us this morning, Kim. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday to everyone. I just thank the Lord for waking me up this morning and clothing me in my right mind. And I thank the Lord for the opportunity that I have to speak about just a little thing. He asked me to talk about being a doorkeeper. And I have um, 
the Lord, when he, when he asked me that, the Lord put right in my spirit, you must come in at the door. And the acronym that I've come up with for door is D, is divine. O is for the opportunity. The other O is for offering. And the R is for rest. We have to make sure that we're doing all those things. I know that um, I didn't realize the position that I held at my church. I'm a greeter, which is another word for doorkeeper. And when people come into the church, I'm the first person, literally, that they see before they go into the sanctuary. And I didn't, you know, they asked me to do it. I, I do whatever I'm asked to do. And I didn't realize that I was doing it in the manner that I was doing it until one day we had a member to join. And he said, one of the reasons that he joined our church is because he felt welcome when he came into the door by me. And that was for me, that was something um, just to know that I have that way of greeting people and that they would want to come in and see what the Lord has for them and see what the Lord is offering to them every day. I just have a couple of scriptures that I'm going to give you Psalms 84 and 10, and it reads as follows. For a day in your court is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper and stand at the threshold in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. I'm reading out of the Amplified Bible. The next scripture that I'm going to go to is John 10 and 9. I am the door. Anyone who enters in through me will be saved. He will come in and he will go out freely and he will find pasture. When you come in, that's the only way most the most of the time that you can get into any dwelling, any building, you have to go in through the door. You may try to go around through a window or some other a side entrance or some other kind of way, but you must come in at the front door, the door. Just remember, you must come in at the door. And then the last scripture that I have for you today is Revelations uh, 3 and 20. Behold, I knock at the, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears and listens to and heeds my voice and opens the door, I will come in and he will eat with me. I will eat with him and he will eat with me. So just remember, when you're doing things, you have to go in through through the door. And there's a reason that God has us going to the door. He wants us to hear. We we have to learn to listen to hear him knocking at the door of our heart. See, the heart changes everything. When if you can get in and you can touch somebody's heart, then you know you got it. You you got it made, as they say. I know at my house when I when I when I um it's just me and my husband here. And if I ask him some, he might say no, or he might say yes. But if I know that if I can just smooth him up and 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 and, and you know work him over a little bit, do do some of the little extra, go the extra mile to get some things done. He will, it will touch his heart and he'll say, you know what, let's do such and such. Let's do such and such and we'll, we'll do. So you just have to remember when God is knocking at the door of your heart, open the door and let him come in. And once he comes in, you'll find out there is no greater, no greater thing in life than walking with the Lord. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Amen. 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 Bless you. Amen. I receive glory to God. Amen. 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 Hey, let me uh, let me circle back to Pete. Um, Brother Pete, is um, uh, is there anything you want to say before we uh leave Region Nine? That's the right thing to do. So, um, is there anything you'd like to say? <clears throat> Thank you for your blessings. Um, my apologies to. Brother Jerry, I didn't mean to leave anybody out. This is the first time I've set up a meeting like this, and I just, it was an oversight. My apologies. Um, and I'm, I'm really blessed for what, for, excellent. I'm really blessed with, with, with my region, but with all the, all the reception I get from you guys too. And you're, it's a blessing to do this, and it's a blessing to serve in this capacity. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. We want to acknowledge Sister Kelly. Uh, uh, she's been by your side for years. And uh, Many. <laughs> what, what we were doing, uh, evidently it touched you, uh, but we, we appreciate you haven't dropped a dime. You haven't dropped anything. You are on point. And for you to recognize Brother Carson, it says a lot. I was speaking about the other regions. I was. <laughs> Okay. I was. 
and and uh, I, I say that because as Lenny uh, was saying, we have to have teaching moments on this well vest. Mm -hmm. See, and with Carl Clark being on the picture, it just triggered a lot of things. Hey, we're getting away from the region. And we've taken the region into the church. And we losing the membership. I couldn't Amen. say that again if you gave me a hundred dollars. I ain't gonna even try. I ain't gonna but the region is where the strength of chaplaincy belongs. But Amen. if you take the region yes, yes. and use it for personal glory, mm. talk to me, Lenny. Say something for me. Lenny. Talk to me. Listen, and I um, at, at uh, 897 uh, Ford stamping plant, we had some issues over there and uh, we had some racial issues and, and, and everything was in an uproar. The plant manager and President Racky of our union, who was just here and spoke to the chaplaincy, we came together and by the grace of God, as Brother Herb is saying, we were able to bring people together and we have a large Muslim population in our plant and we, 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 we put together a quiet room, not a prayer room, a quiet room. So when you go in that quiet room, whatever you do in there is between you and your God. Lenny knows the God of heaven, Jesus yes. Christ. I'm never going to deny him. But Jesus said, whosoever will, let him come. So I can't force what I'm, what my beliefs are on somebody else, but I can force my love on them. And that's what we're trying to do in the yeah. chaplaincy yes, is just yes. provide a course of love so yes. people will know. Jesus said, they will know you by the fruit you bear, but, but yes. also how much you love one another. On, so I'm so grateful. When I first came in, I want to say this. When I first came into the chaplaincy, I had a doctrinal approach. And I said, oh, this doctrine, my doctrine, and, and my doctrine, but but I wasn't winning any people. <laughs> so <laughs> right. so I, I, I had to take my sword and put it down. Come on. And, and then, and then it allow folk to get to know me because no matter how much I said, no, no matter how much I, I, I put out there and with the fervor, I had to learn how to walk before I did my talk. Yeah, and yeah. as a baby, we all learn how to walk before we learn how to talk. Mm -hmm. So so the chaplaincy and the people, I, uh, God so loved the world, everybody is important to him. Our Bible tells us God is not willing that any should perish. So if everybody's important to him, yeah. how much? Should they be more? Should they be important to me? Yes. Wow. Okay. And, and, and President Racky, he challenges me, man. Yeah. <laughs> we we uh, uh the plant manager uh, of Ford in Buffalo. We had this guy come up here, and he challenged all of his leaders to go down to the Juneteenth parade. And all these white fellas down there, and they was nervous, man. I will tell you, but it's real life. They got down there, and they were nervous. And the brothers in in the union and in the company. We came together and they felt comfortable. They felt comfortable. We went through the parade. They learned about our culture and all the stuff you see on TV ain't got nothing to do with who we really are as people. So then he challenged me, let's go to the gay pride uh, parade. And all of a sudden my mind started working, but I had to remember that those people matter too. Yeah. People matter. God doesn't hate people, yeah. he hates sin. Okay, brother. So, so thank you for that, brother. Thank you for the time, yeah. brother. Herb. And God yeah. is good. Uh, he's blessed me so much. And I, and I, like I said, I'm so excited, man. And I don't mean to force things, but it's just the excitement in my heart. Brother Jerry, thank you for the text uh, and the encouragement that you give me all the time. I, I really appreciate you. Thank you for letting me share that. Hey, Love so uh, let me do this. Uh, I got Three dollars for you, Lenny. You was preaching, and you know, I'll, <laughs> you know, I'll put this in the mail. I, I didn't mean to preach, hey, but hold on. I, my I bones, man. I want to say this. Uh, we are embarking mm -hmm. on a very important um, 
meeting with the leaders of chaplaincy. And uh, it's going to be November the 3rd. Uh, we are looking for the regional coordinators to be at the meeting. I want to recognize Robert Goldston. Um, uh, Robert, come on, help me out, please. Yes, sir. Uh, if I can, uh, if everybody can help me, I just got one word to say. Just one word. Nothing else but one word. If everybody can come off here, come off mute and help me with this one word. Everybody off mute. Come on, sir. here we go. That one word is Jerry. Jerry, That's well time. And uh, we love us of Jerry. Yeah, and let me let yes, me man. just Bless acknowledge. Uh, let me just acknowledge. Uh, we know what the regions are doing. Uh, region one, uh, we had a change with the assistant coordinator. Uh, region two B does a change with the assistant coordinator, and we welcome you guys unto the fold. Uh, but one of the things, as Lenny remind me, it's a teaching moment. It's a teaching moment. When we have our meetings um, this Friday, uh, we're expecting the regional coordinator to make a report and to give us that information so we can get it to Jerry and Jerry can make a report to the IEB board. Jerry must have um, facts. Um, we know, uh, Robert, uh, what's your uh, assistant name now? It's er Scott Arrington. Scott Arrington. We have uh, Russ McQueen. Hey, Russ, am I saying that right? Brother Russ, he's the uh, assistant coordinator in 2B. Um, he replaced uh, Sister Michelle. And uh, do we have any other new assistant coordinators that we need to recognize? Okay, we are moving then. Brother Carson, this has been a great day uh, for us to recognize Region 9. Region 9, we love you guys. Um, you got Garney Davis. Garney would have been here if his schedule um uh, would have allowed him because he loved chaplaincy. And we're looking forward to building. Uh, Beverly Quinn is uh, Region 9 assistant coordinator. So um, we want to make hey, sure. There's a that, director. That's the elder hey, director Vincetti's with us. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're on mute. Take them off a of mute. We still on mute. We're looking forward to hearing okay. from you. There we go. Yeah, you're off mute now. Hey, I just slid right into frame, didn't I? Nice to see yes, y'all. <laughs> Jerry, nice to see you, brother. <laughs> Good to see you, director. We Good love you. Nice to see you guys. Um, I, I'm sorry, just to pop in on your meeting here. I'll just I'll, I'll keep it real brief. Um, uh, as I said to this, the 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 commit the chaplaincy committee out here today, um, the last couple of years have been real rough on this union. Uh, we've had a lot of problems. The corruption probe was terrible. The election was uh, difficult. A lot of rifts opened up, and I think that the most power one of the most powerful tools we may have is the chaplaincy program to be a salve to the to the wounds that are up in this in this union. Yep. Right. And so I've committed to the, the Region 9 uh, chaplaincy program out here that the resources that the region has will be at their disposal. Uh, and and uh, it, a lot of the chaplaincy programs we have are primarily in the larger facilities that we have. We have to do a, a much better job of getting out to the IPS locals and the small guys that don't even know the chaplaincy program exists. 
so so we have we have a lot of work to do but we have resources and people ready to put in legwork it's just about opening up the let's be real the money and the resources to get people out on the road to put this legwork in and in region nine you have my full commitment that we that we will open that up uh because our people have been through a lot. The strike is the, the strike is, 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 is so far is proving successful. It's difficult. You've been out for forty some days. You're struggling out there. COVID was rough. Mm -hmm. uh, politics right now is insane. Mm -hmm. uh, our people work working twelve hours in a factory is is brutal, brutal. But we spend more time with each other mm -hmm. than we do with our families. And it's one thing to call ourselves brothers and sisters. We need to get back to a place where we really start seeing each other as a family and lean yeah. on each other. And uh, I, I am absolutely committed to that. I know I know Vice President Chuck Browning's committed to that. Um, I know Jerry's committed to that. I know you are, brother. <laughs> Love you. And uh, yes, and I shared this story, and I'm going to share it again. Uh, and it's very personal for me. And, and Jerry, you were there for it. Um, it just so happened that when the chaplaincy convention was happening, um, oddly enough, I had to I had to do a Zoom conference call into a court case for the custody of my two oldest stepdaughters who I've had mm. since they were four and three years old. They're now 13 and 12. Um, and because I, I won this election, which was which was great for myself and my family and everything, we had to move to New York to be near the headquarters. I'm from Pennsylvania. When you move out of Pennsylvania and you have custody, you are uh, automatically put into a reconsideration of custody. Mm -hmm. and we lost the custody of mm. my two oldest stepdaughters at the chaplaincy convention that happened. That was uh, one of the most brutal days that I've been alive as a, as an, in general. I felt broken, but I had to put on a, a strong face. because I'm a director now and I got to go out there and introduce myself and we still have business to do. Jerry, you were there for me, brother. Mm -hmm. we're, we're at, a at a time when, when words can't do something, a hug can go a long way. Mm -hmm. Go a long, long way. Yep. Love you. You, you were I there just want to I want to tell the chaplains about you. You are an awesome man. Taking care of them children and raising them on your own. We all know many. I, I was raised by a single parent that takes so much love and, and sacrifice. But on top of it, you put your hand up, you served our country you're a veteran you mm -hmm. serve in our union you're part of the civil rights movement the labor movement and kingdom building uh, uh, god's word tells us the harvest is much but the labors are few and you've lifted yeah. your hand and mm -hmm. your heart to to encourage others so god is blessing you my brother and just like <laughs> nothing happens by chance it's his providence and to him be the glory but so many of us, he calls and don't answer. You've answered. And just like all the chaplains in that room with you, and you see all these chaplains here. So all I can tell you, uh, Director Vincetti, you are a mighty man of God. You are a blessing. And, and iron sharpens iron. And, and God, we, we, God brings us together for his purpose. So that was God bringing me over to you and just like all these chaplains right now and love I you. That. I believe we that. Love the, I believe that to the core of who I am, that I was put in that exact moment in that point in time for so is so, something as simple as you give me a hug, brother. Because mm -hmm. and that's the power of this program. That's the power of this chaplaincy program. Mm -hmm. Our people, we know them. We know the signs. We were, we're with each other all the time. We know them and we can see when things are, are going going south and we need to empower more people to get involved and give the tools to to the chaplaincy program so they can do the work that is necessary to bring this bring this union back together i am confident that we can do it i think that this this strike has, has shown that when we stick together and we and we push in the same direction we don't always gotta we don't always gotta be the best of friends but if we have each other's backs like i said to these guys today I don't get along. I don't agree always with my brother and sister. But you come at my family, we got a problem, and we are a family. Amen. This, this Amen. is our this is our family. Amen. And before I jump off of here, I want to say the best picture I see on here is this sister on the forklift. Yo, still getting it on the call and still on that <laughs> yeah. forklift. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. That's, that's sister T. That's awesome. Love the three forty seven. Amen. Sister Freeman. I, 
I appreciate y'all uh, giving me a couple minutes on here. Hey, I love y'all. I really do mean it, that. Yeah. Um, and uh, hey, uh, anything yeah. that I can do, can I will. Hit? This program. Yeah. Elder wants to have one of the chaplains pray for you. Uh, Brother Ben said he had a hat on all day. <laughs> yes, sir. If you don't mind, I I would like the uh, honor of praying for you. Amen. Because um, seven years ago, God gave us a vision to find His Joshua. You are Joshua, my brother. And to much that is given, much is required. In the midst of the transition. You winning an election. You becoming the director of Region 9. God bless you with the challenge that you went through in the court system. Them children of yours, they are your children. Amen. They're going to be with you through thick and thin. Man, you are what we call a father. Your love for children is just remarkable. And your love for Region 9 is even more powerful. You saw a lady on a fork truck. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that is something. If I had three, hey, Lenny, give yes, me sir. my $3 back and give it to the director. <laughs> I three, two, hey, let us pray and we're going to get out of here. I know, hey, before we do, let's celebrate this director with a good God bless you. Come on. Let's celebrate him. Lord Jesus, bless, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Jesus name. Amen, amen, amen. Said he, we love you. For you. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for what you have just done you, for this great union. Showing us that our future is in good hands. Yes. You have brought to us one that have a heart for people. Yes. That's a family man. Yes. That love this union. Yes. I pray right now, Lord God, that you give him the peace which surpasses all understanding. That the Thank chaplains you. in Region 9 will stay on their knees to support this young man. Thank to support you. as he grows and to yes. the knowledge of what it is that you want him to do. And we pray for those children. Keep them in perfect peace and remind him that he haven't lost a thing. Thank you, Lord. Because you are still in control. And wherever his children are, you are with them. Yes. All it have shown that he needs you to for. So, Father, bless him. Thank and you. any bless, way you bless, best bless him, bless. from Pennsylvania to New, to New York, to Buffalo, to the headquarters of Region 9, it doesn't matter. You are there. And where the spirit of the Lord is, Brother Vincent, there's freedom. Yes, Lord. So you have the freedom to be with your children. You have the freedom to be with this membership. You have the freedom to be with God. And we thank you for answering the call and let the words of your mouth and the meditation of your heart continue to be acceptable unto the Lord. We yes. praise you, God. We thank you for this man. We thank you for his family. And we thank you for his region. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, we Hallelujah. done for today. Love you. For Damn, you got my feelings already. Damn. <laughs> All right. Love you. <laughs> family. Love you all. Love, you. Love your family. God bless you. Love you, Brother you. Herbert. God Brother Jerry. God Have bless a blessed weekend. God Love each other. Be safe. God bless everyone. Amen. God, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you all. Thank you. Bless you all. Thank you, Jerry. All right, Regent Greg Davis. Greg Davis. <laughs>